Mississippi sheriff rolls out reforms after deputies and an officer plead guilty to torturing two black men. On a Tuesday night in January, five sheriff's deputies from Rankin County, Mississippi, and a police officer from a neighboring department forced their way into the home where Eddie Parker and Michael Jenkins were living in Braxton, Mississippi. The six white law enforcement officers called themselves the Goon Squad, according to a lawsuit filed this summer, because of their willingness to use excessive force and not to report it. That night, Parker and Jenkins would become the squad's latest victims. The two black men were tortured, tossed, and say they were sexually assaulted for hours. Jenkins and Parker said they were called the N-word and other racial slurs throughout the beating, then a deputy put a gun in Jenkins' mouth and pulled the trigger, the lawsuit says, the bullet lacerated his tongue, broke his jaw and then exited out of Jenkins' neck, according to the lawsuit. He later told CNN officers left him lying in a pool of his blood, then, according to court documents, they tried to cover it up. In August, former deputies Christian Dedman, Hunter Elward, Brett McAlpin, Jeffrey Middleton, and Daniel Opdyke and ex-police officer Joshua Hartfield all pleaded guilty to both federal and state charges stemming from the January 24 incident. They now await